May 13, 2017. This is the actual battlefield at Woods Lake. This is in what ended the uh, U.S. Dakota War of 1862. And this is the spot where it took place September 23rd. It's all farmland now. And Sibley had uh, 16, 1700 troops, a lot less for that, a lot less of that in the, the Lakotas, or Dakotas. The monument, you can see way off in the distance over there. It's a little bit easier to access. Some markers here for the uh, immigrants. People who own the land here. And there's a trail that leads out to the spots where the events happened. Let's see if you can see this map here. The glare is a little bit hard for me to tell. The marker or the monument is over where Sibley was camped. This is where a uh, Right here is where some uh, people were foraging for potatoes, saw the uh, Dakota, and uh, shooting started taking place, and that alerted the army. Uh, just a little bit further up is where the uh, the Third Minnesota charged the Indians. Now these were Civil War veterans. They had a bunch of rec uh, rec new recruits and volunteers as well, but these were uh, battle-hardened troops, and then. Uh, battle ended just further over the little ridge up there. A little bit of a cliff over there, a little bluff, more so than that. But this is where the actual battle took place in uh, 1862. So this is what ended the U.S.-Dakota War of 1862, which eventually led to a mass execution of 38 uh, Dakota Sioux in Mankato, the largest mass execution in U.S. history. Travels with Phil, back to you.